So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back on Earth. Click, of course, of course, of course, Poggers. Uh, Welcome to my dream review. So of course, back to edit again. Like the last couple episodes, it was kind of not lacking, but that was decently okay though. Um, like I said, the last episode, I feel like this was fucking back and forth between like, oh, let's see it from Ash's family's perspective. Let's see it from Leon and Diana's perspective. It's just everywhere. I'm so sorry, but it was just everywhere. I didn't really like it. And just in the episode before that, which is crazy, is time so fast. This time just got lost so fast at the time. The same day episode was great, like we just saw Cynthia's past, we saw the two kids, but again, at the end of the episode, like the Pokemon shit involved, the end of it being be beautiful, climactic, you know, booming of life, blessing, you know, I don't know, just kind of doing that. Again, the half episode, literally just Diantha, literally just, it's like nothing's there anymore, so it's just kind of stupid there, and I kind of hate it. Just, <sighs> episode from the, it was, the beginning was so great, then, like they edited it, cut everything. And they were capable of showing. They did episode in the last one or showing full on cases they can do this, but nope. All the potential is just gone throughout the water. But yeah, I probably reviews episode really fast though. Like nothing crazy crazy happens in this episode though, but it's a good step in the right direction. A good balance of just again, a good balance pretty much of uh, honestly though, just really good episode, a good footing episode to get everything back on track after the colossalness the last couple of episodes were. But um yeah, though. What's the worst that could happen? Um, let's go ahead and get started. I didn't even hate the last episode. It just didn't really click on me. It resonated with me. So, of course, we got Ash really pretty much, um, you know, kind of after his pretty much battle with Cynthia at the first part. Um, again, it is just really obvious they are, um, again, slowing everything down because, you know, the enemies will probably get, the new enemies probably get come out sooner than later because, um, the games are coming out with no, what November and the anime is probably gonna be middle slash late November I think because during just like that um at the beginning like it came out late like the 15th I think 16th of November so um like it came out the 11th one of the two I know it came out like early like week two week one November I think or week two November one of the two yeah I definitely do remember though of course though but yeah um yeah, though, um, pretty much Ash, again, just dripping on the interview now, so yeah, pretty much Ash is just reminiscing of, pretty much it's a right, um, you know, we're, we're coming back to, uh, yeah, Pikachu basically got defeated and stuff like that, of course, Ash pretty much getting his head straight and everything, which is really good, though, I like that, he's pretty much concentrating, head strong, focus, like, if I was not over yet, yeah, I'm gonna win no matter what, pretty much moment, so yeah, it's typical Ash stuff, though, of course, everybody's freaking out, Team Bark is freaking out, um, our Pico's just chewing up, you know, everything inside, though, Diane, thank you, Finley, um, Leon are just super shocked about it. Even Ash's family, everybody's just super shocked about it. I thought they have the TV in the field. The last Pokemon are right there. I feel like there's a lot more Totoro, so I think that's what I'm missing. Because all the Pokemon are pretty much. I feel like some more are missing out, though. Maybe. Maybe they're just like nature walking or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, of course, then Cynthia caught out. Um, oh, Ash caught out Dragonfish. Cynthia, I think, still pretty much keeps everything in. Ash is, again, still charging his head. Like, even Cynthia, like, again, is pretty much testing Ash. Like, um,. Again, I feel like the deal is just testing Ash in general because what he might do next, what he's going to do next. Um, again, we have no idea what's going to happen though, so Ash is going to drag the fish, hoping for the best and everything, of course, again. I feel like the deal is just pushing Ash to his limits. Half of the Pokemon are already gone, like three of them, I think, are already gone. And he says, what, Lucario, Dragonfish, and Galio Farfetch. So yeah, Gengar, Dragonite, and Pikachu are all down, so. <sighs> Still kind of. Crazy, like Ash just getting beat down left and right, though. But on the other hand, though, even like Cynthia, like what he's good, like he could do any, like Z move, like Anorax, or Mega like, Evolution, any of the methods he could literally use. But also on top of that, as well, um, it gets testing those limits. I'm gonna say, I'm about to say for the final thoughts, gonna get way in my head. But yeah. And of course, Ash calls out Dragonfish, hoping for the best. And I call that, ooh, Guard Chomp, dang, right off the bat, that's crazy. So, of course, the battle going back and forth and everything, pretty much kind of clashing each other. Uh, but ooh, my voice got there. Ooh, voice. That's stone in the air. Oh, Sandstorm's stone in the air. I like that though. Where Dragonfish kind of gets caught, of course. Cynthia calling back. Um, <clears throat> Cynthia's calling back. Um, calling our Rose Ray. Rose Ray's evolution. All uh, line. I'll call it Baby Snipe. Uh, Snipe is for the baby design. But yeah. Uh, who uses what? Draco Meteor? That, not Draco Meteor. Is that. I can't think of that. I can't. My brain's a cold for this right now. Yeah, of course, like I said, Cynthia is just pretty much testing Ash's limit at this point, though, like, seriously. Of course, Dragonfish, um, didn't surround a little bit, though, of course, it was already gets a little bit of the advantage. Um, of course, they're activating, you know, his jawline attack, pretty much, Ash, pretty much getting the upper hand right here. Yeah, 
I'm kind of got yeah, got a little hurt there for a second. But, um, yeah, look like yeah, loses Leaf Storm, Ash powers to um, Dragon Rush, and yeah, he one shots it. Dang, nice job, Ash getting good lead. So yeah, pretty much yeah, three Pokemon left: Lucario, Farfetch, and um, Dragonfish. So they has Guard Chomp, Togetic, they took a kiss, and Rose Ray just went out. Oh yeah, she has one more too. Like, what with it? I don't know what that's gonna be. Bro, I know she has Lucario in the game though, but I doubt it though, but yeah. Yeah, Zogafish is a little bit the demo bad damage bad damage beat up, but it's still gonna go his strong bash for sake though, so again Dragonfish is old. like this is so cool. He's only powering through Frash. Man, he knows what's up. Oh, 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 look at you! Look at you! Look at you! Cynthia calls in her beautiful Milo take sinking. But yeah, it looked like, yeah, I was going to do Dragon Roar. She was in just only voice. Yeah, and that's still powering through. Ugh, that's crazy. Like, Dragonfish is really good. Yeah, of course, Dragonfish gets bind and. Phew, did he get one shot? Uh, yeah, it makes sense because it got hurt way too much in the battle. Um, yeah, I actually didn't get two. Dang. It looked like he was like safeguard or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, char yeah, charging you with the head point pretty much where I was hurt and stuff, but that makes sense because, of course, but yeah. Man, yeah, Dragonfish still was MVP though, but yeah, poor Dragonfish guy just checked it really hard. But yeah, rip, build over for the bush. Um, I put my hair pulled up. What's your other video? I'm just gonna love this. Yeah, I had to pretty much explain the whole method, what I just pretty much did. Ash calls out Galia Farfetch, nice. <laughs> that kind of trips up a little bit before it comes out. Probably nervous and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, you already know him. Actually, probably could be Mega Chad and Sink. Yeah, just try. Yeah, actually, just charging him full power. He's not holding back anything. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah like taking the first strike, pretty much. Yeah, I love this. Though. I love that screenshot right there, though. Yeah, actually, just charging it no matter what. He's just going full power charging in. He's a brutal swing. Yeah, Milo's trying to use a wet head charge. Uh, it looked like yeah, Iron Head right there. Yeah, they get blown back completely. Like you know, Milo take because Milo take. I know in the game. Is Cynthia is pretty much one of her aces though, because Ash and Farfetch are so insane. They don't do so much. He charges through his army voice just like Dragonfish can. He uses his new use, use from Clement. Oh my lord, that gives him everything to learn. Ash is one job to do. I like that though. That's beautiful. They're insane. All their training pretty much paid off from everything that they've gone through and stuff like that. I like that. That's cool. Um, then of course, yeah, yeah, it's just they're pretty much acknowledging each other with Pokemon, like the bond of sinks and stuff like that. Of course, I like that though. Cynthia so understands because Guard John, but she. Just called it out here. Um, and of course, yeah, Farfish was just white and no hands, and Guard Chomp as well. Yeah, just, yeah, they're charging right into a Dragon Call versus what? Sword Slash? Um, no. Is Leak? Yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah, so Dragon Call versus uh, the Farfetch Bond Link. And of course, Ultra Instinct right there, just getting those. Uh, yeah, he uses just yeah, uh, moves left and right though, so yeah, and of course, Link gets confused right here, I believe. Then Guard Chomp, yeah, he gets about well, confused and, um, a little bow damage her right there. But it is going on for Ash's sake though. Then of course Ash calls it back. A smart move right there. Just in case if anything happens. So I like that. That's a smart move. Oh, what's up? Yeah, of course Cinderace comes out because Lucario makes it. They're bond. They bond so much through the series because they have both at the same time and everything. It's just perfect. Then of course, you know, Ash just. He gets great with Lucario because they just use some stuff right here already. So it just makes sense as a fairy type now, I believe. So it makes sense. But the car shows the advantage though, but again, Cynthia just have more experience over her head bubble. So yeah, Ash uses he only uses Aura Sphere here, but it doesn't fully power up. Well he uses what air slash? Yeah, air slash versus Yeah, air slash for Toka Tick. Toka Kiss, I give the same thing as it. And um Um my brain's like all over place. Um Flash Fire Marble Word. I just said it. Uh, force bomb, maybe. Yeah, it looks like I use a double force sphere, but it lightly use it as, as a shield. And of course, Oak kind of sees that as well. And it, yeah, double force sphere is in the air. Force palms trips it out. Uses the smoke as cover. Gets back up. Uses force sphere again, covering air slash. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then Lucario, 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 Lucario pretty much covers the I like that. That's cute. Unique, great, creative. Of course, you know, pretty much Cynthia, you know, Stella has more stuff. Yeah, she's just, yeah, she's just going back and forth from the same move. Like, like I said, testing Ash. But then she just go full on Gigantamax here, yeah, which I got kind of like, though, so. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious. But I kind of like, it's cool, though, because I thought Garchomp was going to do it, but as long as she's going to Mega Evolve Garchomp. But you can use any of the methods you want, though. So, of course, the episode ends off there pretty much with Ash. 
But at least I'm fucking gigantic Mexican token, I guess. I mean, the gigantic Mexican is still a good concept, but overall, just, just, yeah, nothing crazy after that. Just because some Pokemon change, some don't. Again, the Mojo go big, and some Pokemon change, some don't, though. But yeah, pretty good episode, though, like I said. Pretty much kind of said everything here. Ash fools on just, you know, worry about everything, but he still fights on his strong. He always says, and Cynthia's pretty much just testing him and testing the water, seeing how much he has improved and gone his journey and stuff like that. Pretty much testing of a testing of a journey. He's testing his journey, all everything. Cause Dragon Vision and Farfetch do everything, even Lucario gets some love too. Like, really good improvement for Ash right there. And of course, Cynthia is really good as well, though. So, yeah, I was going freaking my TVs over here, so I look like an idiot looking over here now. But I'm fine, though. I'm fine. But yeah, pretty much said everything I need to say, though. Good episode, good animation, um, good visuals, pretty much. Uh, characterization and everything that's really good as well. Um, yeah, not bad. Like, some pretty good stuff in this episode, actually. I like that, though. Some really good stuff in here. Um, Oh uh, yeah, slightly improved over the last episode. This episode's pretty it's, it's pretty good. I like this though. Showing showing Cynthia and Ash as well, pretty much as trainers and just you know, this fight's been waiting up for almost a decade now, so yeah, pretty fast decade though. But yeah, pretty much good. Again, good episode. I liked it. The more reviewed it, the more I talked about it, I liked it more. The last episode wasn't that bad, but just too many football back and forth between everybody and the episode before that just was good at the beginning, horrible second half. But a good pace. This is a good episode. Again, a good decent episode, a good one. Got some good stuff in here. So yeah, see you guys later. Like, since watching every Friday, but I'm going to get number two. If they say watching, it's all good for up. I'm not going to be really into. But if you can, well, I just want to see what's going on with you. Before the Discord social is perfect. Oh my god. Boom. So you can think about all this stuff, of course. So, again, very simple, very easy review. I just want to kind of go through it and everything though. But um, yeah, not bad though. Gonna um, go ahead and get some other stuff done for the day though. But yeah, see you guys later. Okay. So.